when you want to run something with the less supervision possible, you need to have a way of getting notified if something goes wrong, notify about certain procedures or final results that you want to see. The best and most secure setup, obviously, is to be in front of the screen, but that is not possible all the times. Also, maybe you want to be in the beach taking a frozen day curry, let's say, while the boat is trading. The final setup is up to you and dependent on the training strategy that you are employing, but bear in mind that things can go wrong and that it could harm severely your account. There are many ways in which you can build notifications. During the last years, I have found many of them, but finally I decided to build three-layer notifications in all my systems, email, telegram, and phone calls, depending on the specific notification type and its severity. In the Mendel framework, I have implemented a telegram board that you can see here, the class, with the Pi Telegram board API. In my experience, I found that telegram messages read faster than emails and have less up downtimes and implementation problems that more commonly used emails. Also, depending on the OS that you are running the email app, you will find that you are not able to get push notifications. On the other hand, Telegram has push notifications in all their operative system implementations and you can separate different messages and bots. You will need to create a Telegram bot via the bot father on Telegram to use this class, then start it and finally send a message so that you can then pull the chat ID using this URL that you have below here. I will just show you some images of the process, however, you can find the exact steps in the link I will put in the description of the video. Setting up the Python code for a Telegram board is fairly easy. You just need to import the class, just define the assigned telebot object and input the generated token that I just showed you in some of the images and use the bot send message method to send whatever message you want. And at Builla, the notification message will arrive. This is all for the Telegram bot implementation. See you in the next tutorial.